All right, so the article reads, a woman in her late 40s reportedly stole her 22-year-old daughter's identity and used it to attend college and date younger guys. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so there's just like so many other ways you could go about this. Isn't there like an app for that? Don't they have like an app? Like, was it like cougars.com or something or, or MILF me or something like, I don't know. There, there's, there has to be a website where uh, younger guys can find older girls, uh, older women, and where older women can find younger guys. Like, that's that's definitely a fetish. That's definitely something that's a very popular fetish, as a matter of fact. It's, it can't be that hard. I, I don't think you need to jump through all these hoops and, uh, you know, commit identity fraud to, uh, to bang younger dudes. There's probably a way easier way to go about such a thing. Anyway... The article reads, Lots of people, when they hit middle age, will attempt to recapture their lost youth in a variety of ways. A new sports car, a new wardrobe, a wild party streak even. But stealing their daughter's identity? <laughs> oh man, so there's the mom. Mom48 stole daughter's identity to start college, date younger guys. That's right, a Missouri mom is now facing jail time after she admitted to stealing her estranged daughter's identity in order to secure student loans, enroll in college, and pursue her sexy co-ed fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So it's her her estranged daughter. So that makes the only. I mean, that makes sense, I guess, as to why she got away with it. Because you'd you'd want to ask yourself, why didn't the daughter say anything? Well, if she's an estranged daughter, then they don't talk. They're not on speaking terms. So um, I suppose uh, she also had no idea. Because like, if if her daughter was in on it, was like, yeah, mom, go ahead, use my identity. That would that would be very weird and very illegal. But. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Laura Olgsby, 48, posed as her daughter, Laura Hayes, uh, Lauren Hayes, excuse me, for more than two years, holy shit, for two years, in an elaborate scam that fooled both federal government and locals in the small town of Mountain View. In 2016, Olgsby applied for, the social, uh, for a social security card in Hayes' name, which she promptly received in the mail. And from that point on, Olgsby, who originally hailed from Arkansas, was then age 43 and assumed her daughter's identity, saying her name was Lauren Hayes and that she was only 22 years old. Wow. How do, you, how do you get away with that? How do you fool everybody? Is everyone that dumb? The fraudster even started seducing unsuspecting men in their early 20s who had no idea that Olgsby was almost two decades older than, than, uh, than she said she was. So how do, these, how do these guys not realize that? Like, you, you know, you just, as, like a, as a young man, you can kind of just sense when someone's lying to you. Like when someone's clearly in their 40s, but they might look like good for their 40s and they say they're 22. It, that, that should bring up some red flags. It's like when someone, like when a trans person is just like, I'm a woman. And you're like, uh, no, you're trans. You know, it's cool. Like you're trans. I mean, you're not fooling anybody, but you're not a, you know, you get it. You get it. It's the same thing. Uh, anyways, uh, everyone believed it. She even had boyfriends that believed that she was the age of 22 years old. Uh, Chief Jamie Perkins, the Mountain View Police Department, told the New York Times, Olgsby even managed to fool a couple who let her stay with them for two years, believing that she was running away from a domestic abuse situation. Oh my god, there we go. Another, another fucking bullshit Me Too excuse just to have people feel sympathy for you and not ask questions and just think that you're a, you're a, you're a, an abused angel and when you say you've been an abused uh in an abused relationship and you're running away they're obviously going to feel sympathy for you they're not going to suspect that you're lying because who would because only a crazy person would lie about some shit like that but unfortunately there's a lot of fucking crazy people out there <laughs> Anyway, but now she has to pay $17,521 in restitutions to the Southwest Baptist University and her daughter as a part of her plea deal. Okay, yeah, so her daughter definitely had no idea what the fuck was going on. <laughs> Fellas, a little pro tip. If your date says that she's 22, but you're getting, you're getting level 43 vibes from her, it's perfectly okay to ask. Yes, that's that's exactly what I literally just said. Okay, the dude who wrote this is clearly on the same wavelength. Like, you know, as a young man, you just kind of get the vibes that they're older than they're letting off off to be you know it, you know it's kind of it's like universal like we all we all just have this like kind of gut instinct that this that this is bullshit and, and it's cool like especially if she's attractive and she's older i mean i would feel flattered that she's trying to get with me you know if, if i were a young man which i once was at one point believe it or not so i guess that's really all i got for you guys today for right now thanks for tuning in to another wacky news story um yeah, just felt like sharing for some weird reason. I guess because I'm on the road right now and um, I'm taking, I'm, I said like I was taking some days off because my dog died. Uh, I, I'm just doing a quick little video because I guess I'm kind of addicted to making these videos. Like it's my hobby kind of turned into an addiction. So I hope you can uh, 
at least get some kind of enjoyment off of my addiction of uh, uploading videos that really have no, uh, you know, that hardly anybody watches or sees because nobody watches my my videos anymore. I mean, you know, there there's a there's a handful of you, the repeat viewers. You know, there's there's my loyal 500, but yeah, uh, you know. Since I slowed down on that Amber content, it's it's kind of gotten rough for my channel, but uh, I'm all cool with it because I got my support on Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, I'm demonetized, guys, so if you uh, feel like supporting my channel in any way, shape, or form, feel free to go to my Cash App, donate like $1, that's it, one time, or you can go to my Patreon and donate as little as $1 a month, you know, for a couple months, for a year, whatever, uh, or go to my merch store and uh, buy some merch. I'll have some new merchandise coming out in the new season of uh, 2022, so January, I'll have new merch out, and... Uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Hope you've been well. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, stay Darth. Not looking back on yesterday, yeah, yeah You gotta fight till there's nothing left To get it right, no right to celebrate, yeah Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate You gotta fight for the right to celebrate, yeah Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate You gotta fight for the right to celebrate, yeah To be able to, if they want to be a millionaire or billionaire, to be able to seek their goal. But all I'm asking is pay your fair share. Pay your fair share. Pay your fair share. Where the black Christmas movies at? <laughs> Wasn't no black home alone. If McCullough Culkin was black, they would have just shot his ass in the first scene. <laughs> Home alone, more like home a-